Going to Venezuela firsthand made me realize how much the media is lying to us about the reality on the ground. The U.S. government and its propaganda arms say it's a dictatorship, where mass famine and civil unrest demands U.S. intervention. They deliberately don't tell you key facts. An economic war being waged inside by private businesses and outside of the country by crushing U.S. sanctions. Trump's sanctions have debilitated the Venezuelan economy, costing them $6 billion just in the last year. And sanctions do exactly as they're intended to do, by hitting the poor and working class people the hardest. Their strategy is to starve the people into submission, then cynically use that humanitarian crisis as the premise for more intervention. They say that millions of people are demanding the ouster of Maduro. What they deliberately don't show you are the millions who support Maduro, who voted for him, who are also in the streets protesting this criminal coup attempt. They say that a coup is democracy, that Guaido is restoring the constitution by declaring himself president in a country that just held a presidential election last year. We've seen this propaganda playbook before from Latin America to the Middle East, and it's literally being led by the same war criminals. John Bolton, who lied us into war with Iraq. Elliot Abrams, who facilitated a genocide in Guatemala. One million Iraqis died for a war based on lies, paved by the so-called free press. And they're doing it again. All progressives and anti-interventionists have to stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters in Venezuela to defend their sovereignty and let them decide their own future, free from U.S. sanctions and intervention. We must call this what it is, an illegal coup underway by the bloodthirsty Trump regime to overthrow one of the last remaining independent nations in Latin America and plunder their oil. Trump has already threatened military intervention. Millions of lives are at stake. We need your voice now to speak up and speak out against another U.S. war for oil. Hands off Venezuela.